So when's this gonna end, guys? There's so much better things we could do with our tax dollars, with our effort. I mean, we're here for a good reason. We're not just sleeping on the sidewalk for fun. I absolutely hate doing this. But it's important. Things need to change and someone needs to bring awareness to things. I mean, have you looked at what Occupy's about? Why we're here? How we're all getting screwed here by the same people? We're all in the same boat together? As the banks steal from you, the banks steal from me. As corporations sell out our land, sell out our lives, poison us. As our politicians are totally full of crap and they're all voting for the same people, and that person is Citibank and Chase Manhattan. The whole system's rigged, and all we're trying to do is bring light to that. Here, will you do this?
Like some oh. people will do, but it's just huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know people hold themselves out and actually use it as a good little game of rather than just fucking thing of syphilis or anything. Right? This is basically syphilis. If syphilis were to be in action, I think it would be silly all these people's shit. I mean, that's the kind of fucked up thing you would do. If you have syphilis. It's like syphilis, man. But apparently syphilis helps. Oh, 
times right now. That's fucking sad.
because you're getting screwed. I don't care, man. I'm sleeping on the sidewalk. I can live a pretty damn hard life, and I'll enjoy the hell out of it. I'm worried about the world, man. I'm worried about everybody else who's suffering in the system. All the homeless people I see out here who are trying to make ends meet. Dude, my moped was stolen. I don't blame the dude who stole it. I blame the system. Because if we lived in a world that was better, my moped would never have to get stolen. No one would ever want to steal a moped because they got moped. Or they got access to a moped. Anytime you get stolen from, remember that. Remember that. It is not that person's fault. It is the system of which we live. Which is, which is the symptom of all of us. The system is only as bad as we allow it to be. Knowledge is power, guys. Be curious. There's so much out there. And I inform yourself. I don't mean go, go and watch some talk news. I don't mean go, you know, don't go to a cage How many of your family members have lost jobs? How many of your family members have lost homes? How many of your family members have lost parents? How many people that you know, how many of your family members and friends have lost their homes? How many of your friends and family have lost their jobs? What about their retirements? What about your retirement? What about your pension? It's still intact now, I hope. But who knows what's going to happen in 10 years. The collapse is going to get a lot worse, man. Until we do something about it, the economic collapse is going to be a lot worse. It's in our grasp to change it. It's right there. Why? Because we see why they're doing it. It's intentional. And we can stop it like that. And we all don't have to be the brunt of this stupid joke. This stupid joke that's screwing us all. This joke that the rich call monopoly. And cartels and cabals. The corporate fascist. Is that Mussolini in Italy? That was his definition of fascism. A corporate government. Guess what we have? A corporate dominated government. We absolutely have been sold out and thrown down the river. You too. Me, you, everybody here, everybody driving by, we're all getting thrown under the bus. We have jobs. Why? Because it's important. Why? Because nobody else will. Why? Because I'm going to sit there and be a constant reminder. I'm going to be a, a thorn in your side saying things have to get changed. You can't ignore you being screwed. You can't ignore yourself being screwed. We are being stolen from. We are all being stolen from. The economic collapse is intentional. The rich are getting richer.